There's a brand new electrical stimulation technology designed for tinnitus treatment. In this video, I'll explain what it is and answer the question, could it actually reduce tinnitus? So last year, researchers from the University of California, Irvine, released new research about an approach they developed that generates a targeted electrical current into the inner ear. Of course, since it's brand new, it hasn't yet been tested, much less FDA approved. But today, let's take a look at what the device is, how it works, and whether I think it can actually help your tinnitus. First, what exactly is the thinking behind this new approach? So previous research suggested that you can actually treat tinnitus effectively with stimulation currents into the ear. The catch is that you need a lot of electrical current for that type of treatment to actually work. Today, that means electrical stimulation requires large equipment that currently can't really be found outside of hospitals. Researchers conceived of the idea of directly implanting a chip into the inner ear to deliver that stimulation instead. And that chip is going to be capable of generating different kinds of electrical waves, meaning that it can be modulated or personalized based on the individual's tinnitus. The thinking behind this is that the closer the electrical current can get to generate the signal to the brain, the less electrical stimulus they'll need and the more effective the treatment will be. The researchers here came up with this implantable chip, which is about the size of the tip of a crayon, and they would place this in the inner ear. It works digitally and can be wirely calibrated to treat each individual's unique tinnitus symptoms. Of course, since it's just been designed, this device has yet to be tested. Even if it gets past lots of rigorous testing, the researchers imagine this as a potential complementary treatment to existing solutions, which are available right now to treat your tinnitus. So I'm excited about this new research out of UC Irvine, and I have more to say about it in this video, but I don't want anyone to be waiting around for experimental research devices without trying today's best options for tinnitus treatment. Things like sound therapy, and tinnitus retraining therapy. Those help a vast majority of our patients at Treble Health. I'm not sure if you actually know this, but I work alongside some of the top tinnitus doctors with my team at Treble Health. To put you on the right path on your tinnitus journey, we do offer a complimentary discovery call with one of our team members. So if you click the link at the top of this screen, you can claim your free call today. And when you sign up, you'll get actionable tips and strategies tailored to your unique situation. This complimentary telehealth consultation has helped thousands of people learn what they need to do to get their tinnitus under control. Plus, you'll get the opportunity to ask our specialists any questions you may have about your unique case. I'm really proud of it because I know that it can help find solutions that most other doctors don't know about. Sign up for your free discovery call today by clicking the link above. Now, let's get back to explaining this new inner ear electrical stimulation device from UC Irvine. I'm naturally excited about this new device, but it's good to have some healthy amount of skepticism that any new device will beat existing tinnitus treatments. There's a long list of exciting new technologies that are now obsolete, like SoundCure, Desyncra, and Odo313. But it's helpful to look at similar research to understand how promising this new device might be. For that, let's look at one study from 2019 that examines two different ways of delivering electric stimulation to treat tinnitus, which actually involves some of the same researchers behind this new approach. The study looked at 10 adults and used 19 different kinds of electrical stimuli. So if you picture an electrical wave, like a sound wave, they would adjust the frequency and try different shaped waves. They also tested two different models for the placement of the electrical device. In one, they put two electrodes into the ear canal, kind of like you'd put in an earplug. In another, they surgically opened the ear and placed the electrode through the eardrum, allowing it to go deeper into the ear and thus getting closer to the cochlea, the hearing organ. The researchers found that the treatment reduced tinnitus in 12 of those types of stimuli, but had no effect in six types of the stimuli. And in one types of the stimulus, they actually 
increased tinnitus symptoms accidentally. One big downside, however, was that despite researchers trying to use a manageable amount of stimulation to avoid side effects, the subjects still reported undesirable effects during the treatment, including visual sensations, somatosensory or tactile sensations, and even some pain such as stinging sensations in the ear and on the forehead. So the new challenge for the researchers, including their most recent paper, is can this method be used without these pretty bad side effects? Can they tweak the delivery method or the electrical stimulation? That's what we wanna find out. Researchers concluded that electrical stimulation could be a useful tool in treating tinnitus, but that more research was needed, especially to investigate whether going deeper into the ear canal to get closer to the cochlea could make the treatment more effective and require lower amounts of electricity and stimulation. But it gets more hopeful after that. Recent research from 2022 gives us some better results. It was done by many of the same researchers. They directly compared two methods for providing electrical stimulus. They wanted to find out, can they give this treatment with less electrical intensity? That means less battery life, a smaller device, etc. And the study involved 25 adult participants. Like the previous study, they compared placing the electrodes in the ear canal versus placing them deeper in the ear alongside the eardrum. But this time they did not perform the surgery going past the eardrum. They found that their theory was right. They needed much less stimulation to effectively deliver the treatment, four to eight times less energy in fact. Next, they tested these two methods on 14 participants with chronic, meaning long-term tinnitus, to see if the treatment actually improved their symptoms. Though we don't know how they measured the tinnitus suppression, their results at least sound encouraging. Putting the electrodes on the eardrum versus placing it in the ear canal significantly increased the probability of suppressing tinnitus from 22% of participants to 55% of participants. And the amount of participants that got relief from the procedure from the experience was 15% in the first condition, but when it was closer to the eardrum with the smaller device there with less electricity, less energy needed, it was 34%. So we're getting closer into this kind of device affecting and positively impacting more people. Basically, it seems that performing the treatment much deeper in the ear makes a huge difference in how much stimulus you need and how effective the treatment actually is. So what's the deal with this new approach? Is it something that I expect to become popular in the next few years? Does it seem like it could actually work? Well, Previous research implies that targeted electrical stimulation in the ear can provide relief for tinnitus. It therefore stands to reason that if this method works and proves successful after rigorous testing, implanting the device deep inside of the ear canal could be quite effective. I love to keep up with the latest research because every new study could change one of your lives. I'm very excited by this, but you don't need to hold your breath for it to come out. Remember that there are tons of tinnitus treatments with great evidence behind them right now. And if you haven't tried them or you're not sure if you tried them, then we wanna make sure that's the case before you consider some alternative research or experimental options. Our team at Treble Health offers a free discovery call to help people like you navigate their treatment options. Give it a try by clicking the book a free call image linked on the screen. That's right, you can actually schedule a free telehealth consultation with one of my team members at Treble Health. Here's what to expect in your Zoom consultation. You'll get an assessment of your tinnitus case, a treatment plan personalized to your needs, and an opportunity to ask the specialist any questions about your unique case. Just click the link on the screen to get started. If there's one thing I've learned working with tinnitus patients, it's that with plenty of resilience and determination, you can reduce your tinnitus. That can get you back to living a fulfilling and productive life. So don't give up hope. We're here to help. All right. Hope to hear from you soon. Be well.